Hi, my name is Lance Thornton. I'm a principal product manager at Autodesk looking after animation and rigging. So artists just want to go faster, like everybody else. The production demands are increasing, complexity is increasing, timelines are not getting any longer as a result, and uh, artists have a lot of demands on them to produce more content, a very high quality bar. In the latest version of Maya, we introduced a curve sculpting feature for the graph editor. And this is useful when you're dealing with motion capture data or baked animation, where you have tons of keys and you need to manipulate sections of those. The curve sculpting feature allows you to do that with familiar painterly brush tools. So you can smooth and you can grab and smudge different areas of the timeline uh, to get the look that you're looking for. So if, for example, if you had issues with your motion capture data, where it was inconsistent, uh, just on a couple of frames, you could just apply a smooth operation to that and you'd get a smooth motion as a result. In the latest version of Maya, we've modernized the timeline. The experience is more pleasing visually, but also functionally. Uh, we've added a lot of improvements to make it easier for animators to work on their craft. The Animator Productivity Toolset is a collection of a lot of individual minor improvements, but they add up to a big win for animators. We have some precision controls in dealing with keys and curves. We have some automatic tools to help animators figure out when the character rig might have problems in terms of rotation orders and joints. And we have a, another set of tools that make it easier to clamp and move large sets of keys at once, ripple delete, uh, just a, a whole uh, host of, of small improvements that add up. Uh, in the last year, Maya released uh, some productivity enhancements for animators. One of those is our blue pencil tool, which allows animators to draw directly in the viewport, to create annotations of their work, share it with other artists, get feedback, and so forth. Uh, additionally, we've uh, focused on performance. So artists want to work faster, they want their characters to go in real time. So under the hood, we've allowed scenes and characters to take advantage of the GPU more so than they have in the past. We have a new feature called GPU Readback that unlocks some performance gains for artists. We also just released some rigging improvements for character TDs. Uh, one of these is a multiple skin cluster support for geometry, which allows for more layered uh, weight painting workflows that people have been asking for for many years now. We've also introduced um, a debugging feature, which allows uh, riggers to see the numeric weight values directly in the viewport. This is, um, this is useful when you want to avoid using tools like the component editor that might be slower and you can debug in context without switching to a different editor. Another thing that we released for Riggers is an expanded math node library. This completes the tool set of math nodes that we already had, but expands it to more functionality so Riggers can do more advanced things out of the box with Maya. With these new updates, we really want to empower artists to go faster, to, to work more efficiently, and to, to stay in the zone. We want to give them more functionality to work with precision, and to have more options uh, in out of the box with Maya without having to result to third-party plugins and add-ons and, and so forth. Maya out of the box has more powerful in the latest release.